Today's lecture is about atomic absorption spectroscopy. In this, I will discuss introduction, principle, and instrumentation of atomic absorption spectroscopy. Atomic absorption spectroscopy is a spectroanalytical procedure for the quantitative determination of chemical elements using the absorption of optical radiation by free atoms in the gaseous state. It is a spectroscopic method where radiation from a source is absorbed by non-excited atoms in the wafer state. Atomic absorption spectroscopy deals with the absorption of a specific wavelength of radiation by neutral atoms in the ground state. In atomic absorption spectroscopy, when liquid sample is introduced in flame, it is vaporized, leaving a solid sample residue. Furthermore, solid sample residue is converted to atomic state. Radiation from the specific light source is focused on the atomic vapor in the flame. The light radiation then enters a monochromator, which isolates the line of interest. Light is then measured by a photomultiplier tube. The signal is then proceeded and the computer system prints the output on screen. According to the principle of atomic absorption spectroscopy, the extent to which radiation of a particular frequency is absorbed by an atomic vapor is related to the length of the path transversed and to the concentration of absorbing atoms in the vapor. In this definition, path transversed is extended or changed path of atoms across something. This happens because of absorption of radiation. Principle of atomic absorption spectroscopy is analogous to the Beer's Lambert law relating to samples in solution. Thus, for a collimated monochromatic beam of radiation of incident I0 passing through an atomic vapor of thickness I, IV is equal to I0 e to the power minus KVI, where IV is the intensity of the transmitted radiation and KV is the absorption coefficient. So total number of electromagnetic radiation absorbed by the atom at particular frequency nu is equal to pi e square upon mc whole into nf. This is equation number 1. In this case e is electronic charge, m is mass of atom, c denotes velocity of electromagnetic radiation, n denotes number of atoms and f is oscillator strength or ability of each atom to absorb at frequency nu. As pi, e, m and c are constant, equation can be simplified to the following expression. Total number of light absorbed at frequency nu is equal to constant into nf. This is equation number 2. From this equation, it is evident that firstly, there is no term involving the wavelength of absorption other than the indication of the actual absorption wavelength. Secondly, there is no term involving the temperature. From above, it follows that absorption by atom is independent of the wavelength of absorption and the temperature of the atoms. These two features provide atomic absorption spectroscopy distinct advantages over flame emission spectroscopy. Next is instrumentation of atomic absorption spectroscopy. Atomic absorption spectrophotometers are of two types, single beam photometers and double beam photometers. In this diagram, you can see a fully functional single beam atomic absorption spectrophotometer. It is called single beam because all measurements are based on the varying intensity of a single beam of light in a single optical path. An alternate photometer configuration is known as double beam instrument. It uses additional optics to divide the light from the lamp into a sample beam and a reference beam. Sample beam is directed towards the sample cell. Reference beam is directed towards the reference sample. In the double beam system, the reference beam serves as a monitor of lamp intensity and the response characteristics of common electronic circuit. Therefore, the observed absorbance determined from a ratio of sample beam and reference beam readings is more free of effects due to drifting lamp intensities and other electronic anomalies which similarly affect both sample and reference beams. In this diagram, you can see an atomic absorption spectrophotometer. The key elements of a conventional atomic absorption spectrophotometer are 
a line source of radiation an atomizer of which there are two types flame and furnace a monochromator a detector for the measurement of intensity of the radiation passing from the sample and a recording system other components are the optics including lenses and mirrors that relay and focus light around the instrument on its ultimate passes through the sample and into the detector radiation or light source is the first part of atomic absorption spectrophotometer an atom absorbs light at discrete wavelengths in order to measure this narrow light absorption with maximum sensitivity it is necessary to use a line source line source emits the specific wavelengths which can be absorbed by the atom narrow line sources not only provide high sensitivity but also make atomic absorption a very specific analytical technique with few spectral interferences the two most common line sources used in atomic absorption are the hollow cathode lamp and the electrodeless discharge lamp the hollow cathode lamp is an excellent bright line source for most of the elements determinable by atomic absorption spectroscopy this diagram shows construction of hollow cathode lamp the cathode of the lamp frequently is a hollowed out cylinder of the metal whose spectrum is to be produced the anode and cathode are sealed in a glass cylinder normally filled with neon or argon at low pressure at the end of the glass cylinder is a window transparent to the emitted radiation working of hollow cathode lamp when an electrical potential is applied between the anode and cathode some of the filled gas atoms are ionized the positively charged filled gas ions accelerate through the electrical field to collide with the negatively charged cathode and dislodge individual metal atoms in a process called sputtering sputtered metal atoms are then excited to an emission state through a kinetic energy transfer by impact with filled gas ions finally the excited atoms generates emission spectrum in this complete process ar positive is positively charged argon ion m not is a sputtered ground state metal atom m star is an excited state metal atom and l is emitted radiation at a wavelength characteristic to the sputtered metal second light source is electrode less discharge lamp in this diagram you can see construction of a electrode less discharge lamp for most elements the hollow cathode lamp is a completely satisfactory source for atomic absorption in a few cases however the quality of the analysis is impaired by limitations of the hollow cathode lamp the primary cases involve the more volatile elements where low intensity and short lamp life are a problem the atomic absorption determination of these elements can often be dramatically improved with the use of brighter more stable sources such as electrode less discharge lamp an electrode less discharge lamp is composed of a small amount of metal or salt of the analyte sealed inside a quartz bulb this bulb is placed inside a small self contained radio frequency generator when power is applied to the driver radio frequency field generates an energy of the power supply and field produced by rf waves excites the analyte inside the bulb which then emit characteristic radiation an accessory power supply is required to operate an electrode discharge lamp next important part of atomic absorption spectrophotometer is wavelength selector or monochromator a monochromator is composed of an entrance slit a collimating lens a dispersing device usually a prism or grating a focusing lens and an exit slit atomizer premix burner system is used as an atomizer in atomic absorption spectroscopy the sample cell or atomizer of the spectrometer must produce the ground state atoms necessary for atomic absorption to occur This involves the application of thermal energy to break the bonds that hold atoms together as molecules. While there are several alternatives, the most routine and widely applied sample atomizer is the flame. In premix burner system, the sample solution is aspirated through a nebulizer and is sprayed as a fine aerosol into the mixing chamber.
Here the sample aerosol is mixed with fuel and oxidant gases and carried to the burner head where combustion and sample atomization occur. Last part of the atomic absorption spectroscopy is detector and readout system. The intensity of radiation absorbed by elements in the ultraviolet or visible region can be detected using photometric detector like photomultiplier tube. The readout device is capable of displaying the absorption spectrum as well as the absorbance at a specific wavelength. A photomultiplier detector is composed of a vacuum tube. In this vacuum tube, a primary photocathode is fixed which receives radiation from the sample. Some 8 to 10 dynodes are fixed each with increasing potential of 75 to 100 volt higher than the preceding one. Near the last dynode is fixed an anode or electron collector electrode. Photomultiplier is extremely sensitive to light and is best suited when weaker or low radiation is received. When radiation coming from the sample is incident upon the first photocathode, it results in generation of electron. Electrons emitted by the photocathode are accelerated toward the dynode chain. Focusing electrodes are usually present to ensure that photoelectrons emitted near the edges of the photocathode will be likely to land on the first dynode. Upon impacting the first dynode, a photoelectron will invoke the release of additional electrons that are accelerated toward the next dynode and so on. Final result is amplification of the signal produced by primary electrons. Photomultipliers produce a signal even in the absence of light due to dark current arising from thermal emissions of electrons from the photocathode. Content of this lecture is taken from following references. Thank you.